Hi everyone. In this video I'm I'm going to show how to submit um a self grade and reflections assignment um, which are based off of your checkpoint work. So um after a checkpoint day, usually the day after, you will start the self grade and reflections which is in the modules. So I'm going to just go to the first one, and this is an intermediate algebra class. Uh, your class might not be intermediate algebra, but this is what this one is. Doesn't matter because all classes essentially have them at the bottom. So the checkpoint, which students will have taken um, before doing the self grade and checkpoint reflections, which is the next assignment. Uh, when you click on that assignment, you will see some directions, follow them, read them. Um, it, even though I'm going over this in a video, I still expect it to be slightly confusing. Um, so you can definitely ask me if you need any clarifications on anything. But in a nutshell, what you'll want to do is look at the solutions that I have posted on the checkpoint. Um, and then you will mark wrong or right X with an X and C on the ones you got wrong and right on your original work, your original written work, which I'll kind of show a mini sample of what I mean. Um, and then um, using the text box or text option on this assignment, you'll type your self grade and reflections or your flexions basically, um, which all follow this this kind of, you will follow this kind of setup of A, state what you believe you deserve for the problem based off of this rubric from 0 to 5, and then B, which will explain your, your reasoning for, for giving yourself the score. Try to follow this as much as you can um, and, and give a detailed explanation. Um, by detail, I essentially mean, I usually tell students that if I have to go back to your original work to see what you are trying to describe, you could have, did a, you could have done a better job um, describing it. Um, so the more detailed you are, the better um, it will be. Um, I also tell students, if I don't have to look at your checkpoint with your original work, then you have done an excellent job because I know exactly what you're saying on your typed up document. Um, part C is the reflection part, which is um, whether you're right or wrong, you reflect on the work you did for it. So if you're wrong, you want to make sure you, you, you reflect and you know, state what you could possibly do to not make that kind of mistake in the future. If, if you got it right, uh, well, how'd you get it right? Why do you think you got it right? Like, what studying did you do? You know, what type of studying did you do to make it stick, um, in a sense? So, that's this assignment, and I'm just kind of going to quickly show you. I click Start Assignment, because you will have to do a couple things. You'll have to upload your original document marked X and C, wrong or right. Um, one reason why I'm making this video is because a lot of students tend to not do that the first time, and uh, I know there's a lot of words on the, the direction, so um, but that is a very important thing. I want to see your original work marked wrong or right, so I'll show you an example. By clicking Upload File, um, I am going to click on something random that I randomly marked X and C on. Um, to show you that too. So here is what I just uploaded. Notice it's it's a checkpoint. It's my solutions. They're all actually right. But notice on the left side, I mark C and X. Um, this is just a sample of what I mean by sh scan and upload your original work marked X and C for the ones you got wrong and right. And that's it. I just that's all I want to see there. Um, and then you finish that part. The next part, the 
other very important part is the reflections and the text entry eyes. Uh, you can upload a file, a Word document, um, but this kind of to me is a little more easy and straightforward, maybe. maybe. Um, and if you read the directions or read the directions, which you probably will have to do a couple times anyway, um, the directions state for each problem you have to state what you got what you feel you deserve so like for number one there's part a which is state how many points you deserve part b is explain why you deserve those points Um, part C is to reflect. So reflect on why you got it right or wrong. Um, and that's for each problem. So this is just for number one. I will state how many points I thought I deserved. Um, and then I'll explain, you know, um, why you you would want to in detail say why you got this right um like or partially right and what you got wrong on it and then you would reflect and you do that for each problem so so for number you know for number say there's five problems on this checkpoint usually there's like at least 10 but for For brevity, I want to make it as quick as possible. So, uh, each problem you will set up like A, B, C, how many points you deserve, you think you deserve, um, explain why, and reflect for each problem. Doesn't have to be an essay by detail. You don't have. You could be detailed and not write something very long. But you can also write an essay if you like. Some people really enjoy writing everything out, and I love it. Others, if you're like me, you tend to write, make it short and sweet. But as long as I get it, that's okay. But you do it for each problem. Each problem you mark like A, B, and C. And then you submit when you're ready. So I, I uploaded my file. I have it text. It typed in the text box. Then I can hit submit. And yay.